Hi, um, my name is Rajiv Daria from Summer Technologies. Um, uh, I've been asked this question many times about what is BI exactly. And uh, just this uh, particular blog is uh, uh, to address that particular question. Um, it is at, uh, at a level, uh, uh, much more at a beginner level to understand the concept of what BI is and what's its purpose. So just to talk about that a little bit, um, enterprise today captures information in, in, uh, in ERP system, enterprise resource planning systems. So you have systems which are capable of capturing the transactions that happen in enterprise. Um, um, I sold something, uh, bought something, uh, we shipped this to a customer, we got this returned from a customer. All that information is being fed into an ERP uh, system uh, which fundamentally addresses uh, the transactions that are happening within an enterprise. As those transactions um, you know, uh, 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 get uh, accumulated over time, you want to analyze them. You want to get something meaningful out of there. And that's where this field of information management uh, or business intelligence comes into play. Uh, first of all, like any other term, business intelligence can be seen in a lot of different ways. You can um, treat business intelligence, some people would draw a line and say business intelligence is only conversion uh, for, uh, for visualization purpose, uh, something that, that uh, only addresses the visualization of data. Uh, generally speaking, and, and my interpretation, personal interpretation, is that it's an end-to-end -end representation or um, uh, 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 basically extraction and uh, 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 representation of data. So it starts all the way from being able to take data which has already been captured in the organization, uh, massage it, put it in a form that makes sense, and then being able to uh, present it in a meaningful way. That, that whole end-to-end um, -end, uh, process would be business intelligence. So let me just walk through that process a little bit more in detail as to the components of what forms business intelligence um, you know, overall as, an, as a, um, um, a focus area. Uh, you could have uh, uh, the ERP systems as we described, and then you would have some form of, again, a database uh, which would hold that information in more aggregate form sometime, in, uh, in a form that is, uh, which has applied certain business rules. Uh, you might uh, say that I want to uh, make sure that, uh, that any transaction uh, which is uh, uh, less than a dollar is rounded down to a zero dollar, or uh, any transaction which, is, which happened um, uh, uh, but then later on that particular uh, material was returned, I want just it to be nullified. I don't want to actually see that particular transaction. There could be a slew of different business rules uh, that can be applied on that data prior to your analysis of that, uh, that particular uh, data. So, so that process of being able to extract the information or data out of the underlying ERP system into this holding area, which right now, and I'll explain that term a little bit later on, I would name it as a data warehouse. Something which holds, um, like a warehouse, holds that particular uh, uh, piece of data uh, for future analysis. Once I have been able to do that, um, I will, and, and in most modern BI systems, I would create some kind of a semantic layer, uh, something which would uh, give um, uh, a business meaning to these underlying technical uh, definitions. So, uh, in the in the data warehouse, I might have something called um, bookings, and I might have something called uh, shipment. Now, in the uh, business layer in the semantic layer, so this is the semantic layer, I could have something called backlog, just maybe a business term, which is nothing but equals bookings uh, minus shipment. So what did I book and what did I ship uh, is, is what I would call a backlog. Formula could be much more complex than that. But from an end user point of view, so if my business user is here, that person is aware of what backlog is, 
and we'll be able to relate to that term without understanding that booking the uh, the system went and got booking from somewhere went and got shipment from somewhere applied a formula and got that information to me so that's what the job of the semantic layer would be and finally there is some form of a visualization layer which will allow me to create bar charts tables a uh, form of visualizations which would which would then um, allow me to interact with that particular data so this whole process except for capturing the transactions in its raw form everything else that goes along from all the way from here till here we could term it in terms of business intelligence once again that includes extraction of information massaging business rules uh, aggregation or or summarization uh, could be even data quality or that address is not correct let's correct it all those things could happen here uh, apply some kind of an abstraction layer and give business terms and definitions to it and then visualize it and consume it uh, so so that whole process would be what what business intelligence uh, would have Okay, hope that helps. Uh, maybe in another blog, I'll go into more details in each of these areas.